Hey guys and gals, it's Joe Kelly. Wanted to do a quick video here for you on PTX. What I'm going to show you is how to measure a move uh, to extrapolate pivot lines further away from the pivots that your system gives you standard. So here we have PTX on a one minute chart. And on this chart, we have a pivot here at 112, 136, 148, 172. I'm just reading what's on the screen here for you guys. As you can see, in the morning time, we had some halts. That's why this was so volatile in the morning. Halt, halt, and then uh, almost halted again, but didn't. Uh, but you can see this push right into the R4 pivot right there. So, so if we were just going to measure these moves and just look at them on a comparison uh, measurement if you drew a line like this just kind of as a measurement and then you drew a line from this one to this one here and you drew another line from here to here and then another line from here to here so if you looked at this from the pivot point you can see that P to R1 is very similar from R2 to R3 and R3 to R4 and R1 to R2 looks to be about half of R2 to R3 right when there's a decent range between your pivot points this is this becomes much more difficult when the pivot points are very cramped in and small uh, distances between them you have to extrapolate really far uh, if you have a big parabolic move but you could uh, but let me pull over an Excel sheet here, and I'm going to show you how you could do this by hand to find out what, from R4, what R5 might be. Here is an Excel sheet for you. So I've put in the pivots right here. What I want to show you, I put in the pivot, the R1, R2, R3, R4. What I want to show you is I want to show you the difference between the two, okay? Just to kind of measure to get an idea. So we're going to take this R1 minus that cell there, okay? And so we have 24 cents. And we're just going to drag that down. 24, 12, 24, 24. So you can see the commonality is around 24 cents. R1 to R2 is a, is a half distance from, you know, P to R1 and so on and so forth. Uh, it doesn't always work out to be exactly like that, but many of the times it is. So let's go ahead and find out what R5 might be. And you could go even as far as if you hover over these and you kind of have R2, R3, or R4, and you hover over it, you can drag this further down. It's going to give you all of those uh, numbers right there if you want them. But now the formula is simple. 